Hello and welcome. This is Elanza News. Nigerian citizens are urged to exercise their civic right in voting any candidates with visions to deliver, not candidates with selfish interests. A presidential aspirant under the platform of the Action Democratic Party, ADP, engineer Matthias Baba Sado, said that at a symposium organized by the House of Justice, Barinawa Kaduna. He also shared his experience and the way forward in tackling undemocratic processes in Nigeria. The existing gap between leadership and the citizens of this country is what is our major problem. Until that trust link is restored, and the only way we can restore that trust link, it is until the day, until the, day the dreams of one of our founding fathers, Elijah Amin Kano, who said that until the son of nobody, who knows nobody, becomes somebody in Nigeria who will not make progress. For the past two weeks, we all have seen what has happened in the social space. The conversation has been either articulating or is boricolating, or whatever it's called. No one is talking about substance. No one is talking about ideas. No one is talking about how to fix the problem of this nation. Nobody is concerned about the streets. Nobody is concerned about the education. A blogger, Judith Caleb, who speaks about democracy and gender equality, has this to say. I always ask this question, where is the place of a woman in politics, generally? Where do we place? Uh, is she supposed to just run for um, offices we feel are just... You know, like the local government, you know, you know, just something little, something she can handle. Or do we give them opportunity to run for bigger office or bigger positions to lead people? So, and then um, the issue of the lady being married or single also comes in because a lot of people will say, you know, if you want to run for an office, we'll just give, we're, going to, we're just going to give you something very little, but you have to be married. A lot of young single ladies that want to go into politics face that challenge because they feel you're still single, you don't know it, you have to marry, you need a man by your side, you need, you need that to validate the position you're running for, something like that. So I think that also has to change. A veteran journalist and the manager of Ilanza News, Mr. Sunday Iswa, talked about election and objectivity in reporting. Many journalists don't actually know that election or covering election is not about releasing or covering the election that particular day. As journalists, we have to follow the election cycle, which is the pre-election period, the election period itself, and the post-election period. Now, what happened in pre-election period? Because if you are to report objectively, now you look at the electoral umpire, what have they put in place in order to ensure fairness to all parties? The Chief Executive Officer of House of Justice, Barrister Gloria Balasin, also shed more light in combating and tackling undemocratic processes. Okay, House of Justice has always been interested in ensuring that uh, power belongs to the people. And for us, law is not just something we do in court, but law is what empowers law and justice. And uh, looking at the political scene as it now stands, it's obvious that people, many people have decided on who to vote, but they haven't decided on what to vote. And except we're able to agree on what to vote, we'll continue to make that cyclical movement of wondering, oh, is this person going to deliver, and then getting back also and getting over and over again. I think that Nigerian citizens, if they're able to grow to that maturity where they insist on issues, then our democratic process is going to grow in that commensurate um, uh, in the state. Members of various political parties, lawyers, journalists, bloggers, and a host of others were in attendance. Elanza News. Know it as it unfolds.